Welcome back to my everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Playing Nam Rong, one of the DLC courses, Long Tease Tornado Cups. Primarily, because I haven't set a score for this one yet. Um, and Nam Rong Bay, I always find challenging, mostly because I refuse to play safe golf shots and just want to go for it all the time. We'll see, we'll see if we do that again today. So Nam Rong Bay is really all about the water on it. It's got a lot of um, casual water, which you can hit out of rather than deep stuff. But um, it's really hard when you get in there because your power meter just spreads out so far. So nice, safe opening tee shot for once. It's tornado cups today, so we should be able to get these pretty close if we can get some accuracy. Yes. Much the length, maybe slightly better. Yeah, I was always going to be short into the wind. We get a putt, though. Ready. And the secret on this course, I think as with every other course, cool. is fairways uh -huh. and greens. You know, it's so much easier hitting it off the short stuff than out of the the rough. And there's quite a few out of bounds here as well, so you do have to be careful. It's a par three. So two's a par three into the wind. Bit of room to whirl. It's a five iron. Didn't put any spin on it at all because I'm on the other controller today, which I do need to have a look at. Oh, got it though. Uh, holding ones on tornado cups though. Nice shot still though. And always nice to get one. Don't get me wrong. So three under oh, after two. The Shame the run official, really. Oh, three. It's a par five. So again, this one's all yeah. Look where you're gonna land it, you see. So it's gonna go, roll out to the left. The safe option is to play here, which for once we're actually gonna do. So we're not gonna go for maximum length. We're gonna go for position oh, on the fairway. Nice Our theory being that the left doesn't really matter that much. What matters is precision. Even then, well, a bit left, isn't it? Cool. So two forty to go. Right. Over some trees. Not a lot of room to work on the green either. So this is going to be interesting. Ha. Put a well. I tried to put a bit of side spin, but failed. Oh, need a bounce here. I end up in the water. You see, okay. that's the risk. Careful of the line. Now you'll see what happens is it spreads out your impact zone quite a way. We've got hold of it. Go on. There you go. Tornado Cups bailed us out. Didn't actually suffer any penalty there for our mistake on the second shot. But don't worry because this luck will get borrowed. Well, the luck I've borrowed for this course. Oh, it'll take it back shortly. Because that's an wrong Bay. So, you can go for the skip here. Into the wind, though. This could be a bit... Well, we'll have a go with it. This could be a bit sporty. Got the ultra top spin. We should keep it down. So it should penetrate the wind better. But it might be a two skipper. Oh, just about. Just about on. Just about on the green stuff, which is good. Yeah, only 370 that went in the end. Getting carried 320. So we've got a chip. Again, it's tornado cup, so length should really worry. I get it vaguely oh, in the, the drop. Oh, That's another chip in. So we're at seven under, oh, having taken good. one putt. And having put three in a row in. Oh, five. It's a par four. Um, okay, par four. So the wind's left to right. We can't go the green, but we can certainly go for a good piece of corner. So we'll play to about there. Yeah, good shot. Got the ultra top and sides bit trying to straighten it up on the fairway when it lands a bit. That looks alright. Okay. Mm. 
So, time for another chip. Go to the nine, I just because it's less bouncy. The issue is how much is the wind going to take here? I always find it difficult with these ones. Primarily because you hold it hitting the three quarter power, so the wind doesn't get as much opportunity to grab them. But there you go, we got it. That's another chip in. Again, if you don't have to putt, you can't miss them. I can't believe it! Oh, I That's got us to nine under. Four chip into the row for Eagles. It's a par five. Oh, this one's always interesting. So again, look how narrow the fairway is. You've just got nowhere really to hit it. What you should do is play it here. Rather than trying to hit the trousers off the thing. The problem being holding it oh, off the fairway. Shot. You've got to get it over that front edge. Which we just did that it needs to hold. It needs to hold. That's pretty much position eight. Okay. So 223 to go. The wind's a little bit left to right. Five iron up there. Oh nice shot! Should make the front edge maybe. Ooh. Just that's not bad really. A little bit inaccurate, a little bit short, but we're up and on. Don't let the eagle slip! I'm gonna have to pop for my eagle this time. Looks like it slopes up. I'll give it a belt. Cool. So it's five eagles in a row, but we actually have to pelt that. It's a par three. So seven's an interesting hole because it's an elevated green. So the problem being that you'll pitch it on this sort of surface here and that kills all of its momentum if you go topspin. Or you can go backspin and take the, the spray penalty. We're going to go for a backspin shot. Try and get a little bit past. Get the ultra backspin. The theory being it pitches about pin high, it skips on, but then it comes back. Like this. However, we've got a little bit of left-hand sway, which is our accuracy and touch. So you can either have control over the pace or the control over the direction. You can't seem to have both. Cool. There you go, take a birdie there. As we didn't hold it in one. So we're at 12 under. It's a par four. So eight. Kind of a split fairway. Again, all about the water really and where you're gonna put the ball. Now you can sort of just belt it if you want to. What I tend to do is not quite full tilt. And you almost want to land on that first bit and bounce the water. Oh, there you go. And I get you on that second bit, but not so far up you're going to run out. So it leaves us 60. Not quite approach range. But then again, not really a lot of room to do anything much on it. So we're going to get backspin again. So you want to pitch it past. Get the backspin. Wind will get this a bit as well. Good, good. This will come back. Probably not going to come back enough though. Oh yeah, that's alright. Nine foot for a birdie. Okay. I guess it's the 13, which is not a bad score. Oh, it's such a good score. Uh, this one is all about finding this fairway. Again, the wind's not going to help us because it's right to left. So you can kind of try and skip it off the water, but it's super risky, but we'll have a go. Ah! Missed the shot. Gonna go left? Gonna go right. That's definitely worth them. Ah! Well, I didn't think I'd hit it that far. I carried 372. Look at the gauge closely. Wow. That went a long way. So, we're still in the hole. We just gotta hit this. We've got no control over the power really. We've hit the flyer as well. It's gonna go out the back. Probably wet. Yeah. Oh, just held. RN Jesus loves me today. So we're gonna play it lefty. I'm a lefty in real life anyway. Got one. Ah, massively undeserved birdie. Nice. 
That's not bad. It's just looking at it. I don't know. Yeah, there's a few more eagles there, isn't there? Full season is not a bad school, but there's definitely more to come there. Stats-wise, we should. Greens and foes are pretty good. Yeah, we kind of missed one each, I think. We did all right. Set a good school. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment and I'll see you next time for a bit more of your Billy's Golf.